Hi, I'm Kev, and thanks for tuning in for my installation video for the Hue Outdoor Wall Light Luca. If you tune into my unboxing video, you've already seen what it looked like. Uh, you can check that out if you haven't already. But today, we're actually going to take some time, install it, set it up so you can see what that whole process looks like. Now, the first thing we need to do is take down the old light uh, to put this one in. So the very first most important part, turn off the power. So I've already gone downstairs, taken the fuse out of the fuse box. At your house, you might have a circuit, uh, circuit breaker. So uh, flip that one off. If yours aren't labeled, it might be a little bit of a guessing game, but play the game. Uh, <laughs> safety first for this. So we've got the fixture up here. This one's held on with quarter inch nuts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those off to access the wiring. It's a nice and easy process here. I've already got my sockets out and set aside. And we've got a sec one on the side here. Once I take the sec one off, I'm worried about the, uh, the fixture itself dropping, so I'm gonna support it because I really don't wanna drop and break anything. Nobody likes broken glass. So now that I've got it unscrewed, pulls off, and we can see some of my wiring's already come apart on the inside. So we're gonna cut right here for a sec. I'll be right back after I've got this disconnected. All right, and we're back here quickly. We've uh, disconnected the old fixture. We've disconnected the wiring. We had a nice talk with the uh, friendly neighborhood giant spider who lived inside of the box. Uh, and we got it all cleaned up now. So we've got our black wire, white, and our ground. So in the next shot, we're gonna end up connecting everything together. And I'll see if we can, uh, can get a nice shot of that. All right, so for those of you who don't remember, this is what the fixture itself looks like, the uh, outdoor wall light Luca. On the back, we've got all our connections. So we're gonna take the housing apart so that we can put it all up one piece at a time, get it all connected. We've got our Allen key for the specialized uh, bits here. And we gotta be careful. There's little gaskets on there to help it stay waterproof. Flip it over, we've got the same process. And same with the bottom one, make sure you keep the little gasket because you want to make it stay waterproof. So we're going to unwrap the ground wire. And we see that we've got plenty of wire length to work with here. Ground goes all the way through. We've got our bulb already in there. We're going to disconnect that. We don't want anything in the way while we're assembling everything. Inside, an open space, drain hole on the bottom. And now it's time to connect this. Well, that's actually time to put the bracket up first. So it's going to mount up here. We've got two holes diagonally. It's going to hold it like this, and we can put our screws there. So we'll hop right back in a sec after I've got this in place and we're ready to put the fixture up. All right, so we're just screwing the, uh, the first screw into place. And then that'll actually tighten in in just a moment. Next one's going to the bottom here. And we'll adjust everything appropriately to make sure it all stays nice and steady. Same process here. Once this cross piece is screwed in, we will adjust this to be centered and balanced. Lock it in place using this screw here, and that's when we'll hook up the rest of the fixture. All right, so we're going to connect the uh, the housing uh, to the wires here. It's pretty straightforward. We're going to connect white to white, black to black, and we're going to use these marrets to keep the connection contained in a safe place so there's no chance of shorting something out. So we twist the wires there, put the moret on, and give it a twist. We're going to do the exact same thing with the black one here. We're going to twist them around and use the marette to completely enclose it. So now that we've got that done, next part we got to worry about is the ground wire here. Green for ground, we've got the bare copper wire and we've got the same part on the other part of the fixture. So before I finish putting this all together, I'm going to run the 
wire back through here, connect to the ground so that I can fix everything. To All right, so I've got the ground wire hooked up. It's here as well as, as, well as the uh, ground from inside. I put the bag over top of the fixture here so I don't get it scratched up as I've got it hanging against a brick wall. If you've got a helper or an extra pair of hands, that's also great to use here. So we're gonna line the fixture up, make sure that our holes match up, and we're going to put these parts on. Now we have plenty of ground wire. We're gonna carefully slide that back in as we put everything back up in place. The next step is going to be the light bulb. Then we'll put the fixture back on. And then we're gonna get out some uh, some silicon and we're gonna seal everything to make it watertight. Open up the bag here real quickly. And of course I tied it a little tighter than I needed to, but I just wanted to make sure that it stayed. All right. The deep freak in me is gonna cringe doing this, but I'm gonna rip the bag. Gonna carefully feed the ground wire back inside. As we get everything lined up. And we've got the housing in place. Next step, we're gonna put the screws back in the top and the bottom to, uh, to hold it all together. And then we're gonna apply our, uh, our silicon as a sealant. Okay, so we've got the fixture up, we've got the power back on, we've got everything set up except for the light. So. Voila, it's working. Now, if anyone's ever set up a Hue light before, you know that you need to go into the app. I've already got the app open here. This is my regular page. We hop into settings. We go to light setup. We're gonna add a new light. Luckily, Hue gives you this inside the box, gives you the serial number already. So what we can do is we can add the serial number here. This one is A4727A. A. We tap done, search, we let it search for any lights. I've got another one that's currently not in use, so don't be tricked by that one there. It'll take a moment. Hue Outdoor Wall, it's already named for us. So we can tap on this one, we see that it blinks to verify that everything's set up, and we can set our own light for uh, name for it. Hue Outdoor Wall, we're gonna call this Front Door, with a capital D. Done and done. It's even got its own little uh, icon there so you can tell it apart. We're gonna hop back one setting and we're gonna go to room setup. We're gonna make a brand new room, create room. We're gonna call it front door. Well, that's the light we're gonna use. We're gonna call it front door. And we're gonna label the room type. We've got our different options here. We can call this one a terrace, driveway, garden, um, driveway will do the trick for now. Gonna hit save. We now have a room set up called front door. We go out to the main page. We grab front door, all lights are on. We can adjust our settings ourselves. Quick, easy on off. And of course it's gonna be controlled by the, uh, the wall switch inside. Uh, and we can set up our, our settings, our routines, our, our timers and things like that later. Hope you've enjoyed my uh, installation and setup for the Hue Outdoor Wall Light Luca. Uh, be sure to check out my unboxing video if you uh, want to know a little bit more. Uh, thanks and have a great day.